What is the number one reason that people have demons? It isn't what you think. It isn't necessarily because they were involved in the occult. It isn't even because of bloodline curses. That's how you get demons. I've done lots of teaching on how people get demons in our International School of Exorcism. But this time, I want to emphasize why many have demons. The reason you may have demons is because you've done nothing to get rid of them. It's just that simple. The area of ministry called deliverance has many misconceptions, especially by those who are new to this calling from God. Some assume that if you've prayed to break generational family curses, that the demons attached to this past evil automatically leaves. Not so. The power of a curse may be mitigated by declaring the curse canceled, but the demon attached to it often doesn't spontaneously depart. The same is true with the sin forgiven. The eternal consequences of sin is removed by confession and God's grace. It no longer holds sway eternally, but a curse is different. This form of evil isn't about consolation, it's about cancellation. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Case closed. The redemption of the cross removes our sins from us, the Bible says, as far as the east is from the west, Psalm 103.12. But curses and the evil spirits attached to them, that's a matter of earthly, genetic, and behavioral dispositions. Thus, some people have demons because they haven't confronted the generational evil operating through such iniquities. The number one reason people have evil spirits is because they've done nothing specific to exorcise their demons directly by confrontation and expulsion. Nowhere does Scripture suggest that demons leave because they are bored, <laughs> intimidated, fatigued, or irritated. They leave because they are expelled. In the name of Jesus, they will cast out demons, Jesus said in Mark 16, 17. Demons go because they are made to go. They aren't coaxed out by curse breaking. They aren't removed by soothing prayers or prophetic pronouncements. Demons go when they are pressured to leave by insistent prayer and bold commands. In most cases, they must speak give up their rights, and declare their downfall. To be clear, it is good to confess your sins. It is wonderful to nullify ancestral evil, and it's awesome to receive inner healing. But none of this should ever be a substitute for interrogation, purgation, and the abdication of any evil spirit still hanging around because they weren't confronted and cast out. And if you get in touch with our ministry and you schedule a virtual encounter, we will confront those demons. And in the name of Jesus, as the Holy Spirit leads us, we will cast them out and you will be free. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.